Welcome to school and welcome to lab. Making accurate measurements is very important. You will be using a laboratory scale which acts like a balance to measure mass. The unit for mass is the gram. What is the difference between mass and weight? Weight is a force and the amount of gravity affects the amount of weight. The balance is able to measure mass because it eliminates the effect of gravity because gravity acts on both arms. Did you know that the laboratory scale also measures mass? It's because it uses a calculation which eliminates the effect of gravity. The equipment we use to measure volume is the graduated cylinder, the long burette, and the volumetric flask. The unit we will be using is the milliliter. You may remember that a thousand milliliters equals one liter. Each of these pieces of equipment measures volume accurately. However, the graduated cylinder is the most common and the least accurate. Flasks and beakers are used to store, mix, and heat liquids. They are not designed to give accurate measurements, but the unit gives the general maximum amount that the flask or beaker can hold. This first flask would be called a 1000 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, and the 250 milliliter beaker roughly holds 250 milliliters of a liquid. Some other equipment which we will be using is the wash bottle, which we will fill with distilled water, We'll use the spatula or the scupula to handle chemicals, the test tube, the mortar and pestle to grind the chemicals, the clay triangle so that we can heat or hold a funnel, the transfer pipettes, and lastly the funnel and the ring which goes on the ring stand. The next set of equipment is the stirring rod. It's usually made of glass and then the test tube rack to hold the test tubes. We also have the wire gauze so that when you put hot things on the desk, the hot thing can be protected. Then there's the glass, watch glass, and then the ring stand, which is going to hold most of your clamps. So this clamp is called the round clamp. It's used for test tubes or burettes. And then this is a test tube holder, and also sometimes called a clamp. And then for lab safety, you have a lab jacket or lab apron and goggles most exciting and most well-known piece of equipment is called the Bunsen burner. Remember, never leave the burner unattended. Now that you are familiar with the equipment, let's go over lab safety rules. One, recognize the hazard. Are you working with fire? Is it a chemical that can burn or melt something? Two, assess the risk. Three, minimize the risk. Keep your hair tied back, move materials away from the flames, know where the emergency equipment is, and lastly, protect your person. Wear appropriate clothing and closed-toed shoes, wear a lab coat or apron if needed, wear gloves and goggles, and always wash your hands at the end of lab. I am excited to experience lab with you. I know it will be a great learning opportunity for us all. See you in class.